Hi, I have really enjoyed modules one and two. I feel like there was some great information. There were some good pointers and there were several things that I wanted to take away from these modules and remember and incorporate into my videos and into my future career. The first is to use videos and technology to enhance lessons. I don't want to throw any kind of technology into a lesson just to have technology in that lesson. I really want it to enhance what I'm already teaching. Next, I like the idea of chunking videos. Chunking is a technique that I already use when I teach reading lessons. And I've just found that when you take a smaller section of the text and really allow students to dive into that and to make sure that they understand what they're reading before you move on. Um, go over vocabulary words, allow times for their questions and let them discuss things. That just helps them to understand what they're reading. So I think you can apply that same principle to videos. Instead of making an hour long video and expecting students to sit there and watch that, if we give them smaller videos, it lets them really absorb the material. It gives them a chance to talk about what they've learned, ask any questions that they have before they get even deeper into the material. So I thought that was a great idea. And then finally, uh, I need to remember that Learning how to make videos and edit these videos is not something that I'm going to understand right away. It's not something that I'm going to be good at right away. I need to give myself some time to learn and I need to give myself grace when I make mistakes and be patient with myself. So that's something that I really want to continue to remember throughout this course and then even after the course when I'm making videos. One thing that I would really like to try is to make videos that incorporates more graphics and pictures with me doing a voiceover instead of this type of video where I'm just in front of the camera. I think that I might be a little bit more comfortable making videos like that, but I really want it to look professional. I don't want it to look like it's something that I just threw together and started talking over. At the same time, I want to remember that I'm an elementary education major. So when I start making lessons for videos, the videos are going to be seen by kids. So I want something that looks good, but is still engaging for students. My comfort level with making videos is probably around a five. I think I'm right in the middle. I know that I have a lot to learn, but I think I do an okay job right now. I feel like I'm learning and trying to incorporate things into my videos each time. For instance, my last video, I got a comment that my angle was a little off. And when I went back and watched it, I could see what they were talking about. So this time I tried to make the angle a little bit more straight on me instead of being at a weird angle. So that's something that I'm trying to fix as I go. Um, I'm still pretty low on my comfort level of being in front of the camera. I would say on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably around a three. Um, when I first started making videos, I would have been at a zero. I mean, I would not even have been at a one, but I feel like Dr. Gale does a great job of encouraging students. Even when I don't feel like I've done a good job, he leaves comments that encourage me and he's helping me to feel a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. I'm really excited to get more into this course and to keep learning about making videos and editing videos. Thanks for watching.